got him. Biggin. Biggin. Oh, that's Biggin. That's a Biggin. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get him. 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 Get What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and today we have brought our canoe out here into the Cypress Tree Swamp to do some crappie fishing. Um, we came out here like a week and a half ago and didn't find anything, but um, we're not giving up hope. We know that there's some crappie to be caught out here in this area. It's just a matter of timing. You know, we have to get the weather right, the temperature has to drop, the water temp has to drop. Um, we've had a few cold nights and we're thinking that they should be on the move. So we're out here and we're gonna patrol all the woods that we can until we hopefully land on some fish. So guys, hopefully y'all are excited to join along with us on today's episode. If so, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get out here and hopefully slay some slab crappie. Ready to go? I'm ready. Let's go. So as we've already mentioned, we're gonna be fishing this really dense cypress swamp today. And over the years, we found that the best way to catch crappie out of here is to present them as small little crappie plastic of some sort. This is just a little one and a half inch little crappie tube in a salt and pepper color. And then we have them suspended underneath a small float. We usually like the small ones that are unweighted because they don't make a lot of splash whenever it hits the water. And it helps keep from spooking the fish. We're fishing pretty shallow water. It's like anywhere from two to five feet deep. So we had the bobber at about two feet deep. And what the fish do, they usually suspend around these trees and they'll come up and eat the jig. And so what we're gonna be trying to do today is just try to cover as much water as we possibly can out here in this swamp, just casting these little jigs up against the trees. And then, you know, if we get bit and get a fish in the boat, then we'll spend some more time in that particular area and see if there's any more fish hanging out. But to do that, we have to catch our first fish. So we're gonna take off over that way. We've had some good luck in that area before and it's usually a good early season spot. So let's make our way over there and let's try to put some slabs in the boat. Got him. Biggin. Biggin. What is that? Oh, it's a crappie. It? It's a crappie. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yes. It's a crappie, guys. Not a 10 -incher. They go, oh, oh, Jason. Oh, that's a biggin. That's a biggin. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's not a biggin. Not a biggin? No. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, gosh. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Oh, we're in the grass. Oh, my goodness. What a mess. That's a keeper. What a mess. Oh, my gosh. I'm in a tree. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. You gotta be quiet. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at this. We That's just doubled it. up on crappie. Mine's not 10 inches, but Jay's definitely is. Definitely. This is so exciting. So exciting. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking about to lose my mind catching this crappie. I'm gonna let mine go. Let's get some water in this bucket so you can do your thing. Oh yeah. Let's do your thing, girl. Y'all oh. know what my thing is. Yeah. We gotta put them in the bucket. Yeah, baby. We're about to slam, I think. Oh my god. Holy crap. I'm so excited. Get him. Get him. Get yeah, him. Baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Yes. It's another keeper. Oh my goodness. I am so excited right now. You guys have no idea. Well, you probably you probably understand. This is so exciting. Put this one in the bucket too. Oh, it's got bit. I'm about to. Got him. Crappie on. Crappie on. They are loaded right there. Dang, it's not a big one though. I mean, he's decent sized, but he's not 10 inches long. Like I said, they gotta be 10 inches long to keep his like nine and a half. <sighs> Was not expecting this, guys. That's that four crappie. Oh, that'd be five. Five crappie. <laughs> five crappie. Jay's is another good one, isn't it? Oh, it's a slab. It's a slab. It's a slab. It's a slab. Let me see him. Heck yeah, that's a dandy. That's the biggest one so far. And I just feel like we're just barely scratching the surface of what's fixing to happen out here. 
Heck yeah. Is that yeah. number three? That's, yeah, that's number three. Let's go. In the bucket. I'm on fish on. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. Heck yeah. Oh, actually, this is. That's your first non keeper. This is my first non keeper. Got him. There we go. I think I'm finally on the board with the keeper. Get up here. Woo. Woo. There we go, guys. There is my official first keeper crappie of the afternoon. Not a monster. That's going to be 10 inches in the bucket. Oh, oh right in oh, front of you. That's a good, one. good one, Jay. That's a really good one. Okay. <laughs> Not as big as I thought he was, but it is another keeper. Oh my goodness. He made it pretty close to the boat. That was cool. I watched him eat it. That was awesome. <laughs> There we go. That's a nice one. Oh, oh, gosh. In the boat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's my biggest. He choked that little salt and pepper tube. Oh, Jay's throwing the chartreuse pepper. I'm throwing just the salt and pepper. And that is a nice one. That is like our favorite sized fish to keep and eat. 11 inch fish, 11 and a half inches. That was sick. Came right off these lay downs. Kind of swapped spots on them. Jay's still throwing the hole up in front of us and still getting bit. I wanted to toss it right over here. See if I can get some new fish to bite. Got some really awesome lay downs over here on my side. And I had a feeling there was gonna be one there. Show enough. He smoked it. Oh, I had another bite. Oh, got him. Slap, big and giant, giant, oh my God. giant, <gasps> giant, Holy cow. giant, Holy cow. giant, giant. Oh yes, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh That's the biggest. I've taken the lead spot from you, Jay. <laughs> oh, now, it's not like no two pound slab or nothing, but that is by far the biggest one we've caught out here today. That's one that gets you real excited. I know. That one's like 13 inches, pound and a half. I don't know. We need to get our scale. We don't have any of our stuff in here, really, except for a bucket and a couple crappie jigs. We were not expecting to get out here and slay no. these guys. Words cannot describe how excited Jay and I are right now. We were not expecting to catch crappie out here today. Uh, we were just, you know, come out here and do a little scouting and just see if maybe there was a chance there was one and pull up in the spot and we are literally slaying them like one after another. And I just got the biggest of the day. Really, really solid swamp slab right there. He's probably like 12 and a half inches, like a pound and a quarter or so. You know, not the two pounder that we're after out here, but there's, you know, if there's this big one here, we know there's gonna be some more of these and definitely a chance for some even bigger than that. I think this is our sixth one we've already put in the bucket. We've literally been in this spot for like 10 minutes maybe. I don't know. She's throwing a chartreuse, a little tube. I'm throwing a pearl tube and they are just smoking it one after another. And like I said earlier, I think we just barely scratched the surface on this area. He's so pretty. Isn't he beautiful? Beautiful slab, perfect eating size. We're gonna drop them in the bucket and we're, we're gonna continue casting out here and see how many more we can catch. That's so a sick. nice one. I know, let's go. We have pretty much searched this whole swamp and we have not caught any more fish. It's crazy. The last fish that was caught was the big one that Cole caught. And then after that, it was just like dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on. Maybe we're out here too early or maybe they're just really good at hiding. And as you guys can see, there is an infinite amount of areas where these fish could be hiding. But I yeah. think you're more right with that. We're just out here a little bit early. Yeah. The water temp's really not cold enough for them. But with the few crappie that we did catch out here, Jay and I are like fully addicted now. We're gonna be out here pretty much every day um, trying to catch these crappie as they continue to move in. Hopefully they'll move in more. I mean, we've had some years out here where we've actually not, not caught anything. So hopefully that won't be the case this year. And we've already gotten off to a pretty good start. So let's show you guys some of the fish we got. We got some really nice ones. Yeah. Jay's got some big ones in there. I got one big one in Cole there. Cole caught the biggest. That's usually not the case whenever the two of us are in the boat together. Oh. But let's see what we got. Ooh. Let's see, how Beautiful. many are in here? I don't know, like One, seven or eight. One, two, three, four, 
five. No. Yeah, six. six. I think there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we got six. That's a good mess. Ooh, oh, some yeah. slabs. Slab, black, crappie. We didn't catch any white crappie today. No, we didn't. We usually only catch black crappie out here, <laughs> but we'll have the occasional white one show up. And they're usually really big, but those are some dandies. Heck yeah. Great. Especially this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great fish to get our crappie fishing season officially started. And those are going to be very tasty. I'm not sure what we'll do with them. Crappie tacos? Fry them up? Cook them whole? I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out, <laughs> but they're going to be tasty nonetheless. So oh, yeah. let's get them back in the bucket and let's get out of here. We got a long ways back home and we'll see you guys when we get there. We just made it back here to the house. I'm here at the fish cleaning station and I just realized that we actually have seven crappie instead of six. So that's great. I'm going to get to cleaning them up here with the electric fillet knife. Shouldn't take too long and then we'll get them ready to eat. Okay, we are ready to start cooking our fish fillets. I've got them battered up here in this bag, and I'm really excited about this batter because if you know anything about us, you know that we love a super secret ingredient called Slappy Mama. And we've got this fish fry here, and it is infused with lots and lots of Woo! Slappy Mama. So this should be really tasty. We don't have to mix it up ourselves. It should be perfectly blended. Time will tell though. We have the deep fryer here at my feet. It's all warmed up. <laughs> we need a table or something here we yeah. can cook from, but it'll work. Uh, these are some of our crappie fillets. They're all evenly battered, it looks like. This is the first time I've actually used that stuff, so hopefully it's good. I think it will be. Let's get these boys sizzling so we can eat them. Ooh. Smells good. I don't know how many that was, five or six. And then one more. Awesome. Woo. Okay, those will only no. take. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's cold out here, so that feels good actually. <laughs> Doesn't look good though. Um, those should only take like five or six minutes, and then we will be well on our way to having ourselves a delicious lunch. Okay, wow, those are looking super good. Let's pull them up out of the grease. Oh, yeah. That's the color you want to see right there. Golden brown. Let's poke them with the fork, make sure they're crispy. Oh, yeah. That's how we like it. So let's do a little transfer here without making a mess or burning ourselves. Go from here, paper towel. We did it. Man, I am so excited about that. Can't wait to try that Slappy Mama fish fry. And there it is, guys. Feast your eyes on this plate of food. How are you feeling about that, Jay? Feeling hungry. Feeling really hungry. Feeling good about that, though. I'm yeah. excited. It smells good. So in case you're wondering, no, we did not cook the fried pickles and the corn nuggets and the french fries. We actually discovered we didn't have any side items in our house, so we picked those up at Chicken Express. So don't hate on us for that, because we got some really nice looking fish fillets here that we need to try mm -hmm. before they get cold, because it is very cold out here and windy. So mm -hmm. let's just go ahead and dig into those. I'll let you take the first bite of that. Oh, okay. First time trying the Slappy Mama fish seasoning. Please tell me it's impeccable. Mmm, it's fire. It's fire? Mm-hmm. It slaps? It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> Not like fire like super spicy, fire like dang good. That's mm. awesome, that's what we like to hear. Here we go, I'm going in for my first bite of the Slappy Mama fish fry. It's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's very good. It's really not that spicy. Mm -mm. I feel like whenever we make it ourselves, we like add a whole lot more sloppy mama to make it, you know, really slap hard. But that's really tasty. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about these fried pickles. I haven't had these from Chicken Express. Hopefully they're tasty. Pretty good. You say like fried pickle. It's kind of kind of salty. Yeah. Kind of salty. Maybe a little heavy on the salt, but I'll eat it. It's good. Is your corn nuggets any good? I don't know. I can't stop eating the fish. <laughs> the fish is so dang good. Yeah, you really can't beat this fish. It is so good, especially on a day like today. Um, it's really cooled off out here. The wind is blowing, and it's just nice to have some warm food in our mm -hmm. bodies. It's just, it's just great. And it's great to know that we caught this fish fresh today out from the lake. And uh, we're excited for what the future has in store for us out here. I mean, I feel like this is just the beginning of our crappie fishing season, and I hope we're able to go out and catch many more yes. over the next weeks or hopefully even months. 
Uh, it's pretty chilly out here today. It's only like 52 degrees, 53 degrees, wouldn't you say, Jay? Yeah, it's cold. It's very <laughs> cold, and it's also extremely windy, which kind of makes this a kind of dangerous area because if you look around, you see all these trees that are leaning over. That's because the wind pushed them over, so there's the chance that we could have a tree fall on us today or a branch or a big old piece of tree bark which would not be good. But we're gonna to try to play it safe, try to stay away from the snaggy looking trees and uh, hopefully find ourselves a hole that has some crappie in it. So guys, if y'all are excited for today's episode, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and let's get out here and let's hopefully slay some slabs. Let's go. That's a nice one. Oh, not what we're after, but definitely a really cool catch. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. There's a crappie. Oh, Jay just missed one. <laughs> there we go. Jay just caught that nice red ear. And I'm on the board with the first crappie of the day. He's not very big, he's not gonna be a keeper. They have to be 10 inches out here to keep. And this is only like a six inch or so. But we're on the board, there are some fish here in this area, which is very exciting. Send it back. Goodness, there's a bunch of them right there. Oh! You on nope, board? That's a crappie. There's my first crappie of the day. He's not a keeper, but hey, we're moving in the right direction now. Heck yeah. Oh! <laughs> All right, hopefully we can catch one big enough to keep. Here. See ya. <laughs> oh, I got one. Mine's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Not much bigger, but it is a little bit bigger. I think I am too. We got to find some slabs. Surely there's some big ones mixed in with these guys. That's like an eight incher. There's our first double up of the day. Hopefully this will be the first double of many, but hopefully we can catch some bigger ones than this. It's crazy. These are all small guys. The bluegill you're catching are bigger than these. <laughs> he choked it. Let's get him unhooked. I guess yours is already hooked. Okay, we'll send yours back, and then we'll send this one back in an epic double release. Ready? One, two, three. Pew. Oh, we got one crappy back here behind us. Oh, come here. Oh, he's gonna be close. He's gonna be close. He might have our first keeper. Oh, Jay's got one. Oh, hers is little. <laughs> our second double up, though. I'm down with it. Ah, I think mine's gonna be a little short. I got my little measuring little device here. Oh, he's like nine inches. Dang. We're gonna send him back out on the crappie slide. Bye. Why well, it's so hard to land a fish over there? Oh, oh baby. Stroked it. Oh, baby. That oh, baby. I might have done it. Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, it's gonna be really close. Here's the crappie slide. I, I'm not sure. So far, there's my biggest crappie of the day. Let's see if it's big enough to keep. This fish is just a little over nine, so he's gonna be too short. But we're getting a little bigger. Let him go. We're gonna catch a slab in a second. I know we are. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh there my go. gosh, there we go. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Yeah, now that is a keeper. That's 100%. what I'm talking about. Woo! Heck yeah. But just to make sure, we'll put him in the little measuring thing, if I can find it. Oh, oh my goodness. He is just like oh, right redemption. under 10. Maybe Cole is about to catch a bigger one. Get up here. Oh. I've got the whole stick with me. Okay. How big is this fish? That is definitely not big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, dang, that's a bummer. We were so close, but that's okay. He's not 10, so we gotta throw him back. 
I thought Jay had us on the board, and then I thought I had us on the board, but in reality, neither one of us are on the board with a keeper. <laughs> Peace, little guy. Hey, at least they're biting. Yeah. You know, we could be out here not catching nothing. And there's been a lot of times, guys, where we'll go out and we'll just go catch like a hundred, like four to six inch fish. So, I mean, the fact that we're catching like eight and a half to nine and a half inch fish out here, it's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. And really, all we're looking for is like four or five keepers. That's all we need for supper, right? I feel like we can do it. We'll find a little pocket of good ones. Maybe that's a good one. We're getting bit every cast. It's not all crappie, but at least we're getting bit. Oh, good pop. Fish on, begging, 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 begging. Not joking. Really? Not joking. Begging. Oh Give the trick. Yes, sir. It's a big white crappie. Nice. Woo, 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 woo. Let's go. We literally just moved up just a tiny bit. Oh, Jay just got smoked. And uh, wow, that's like my first cast been there. We got ourselves a good one. He doesn't even need to be measured. Nope, he doesn't. Not even close to needing to be measured. But I will measure him just so you guys can get a reference on how big this fish is. Okay, our crappie is in the slide, and that is nearly an 11 inch fish. Nice. Perfect perfect fish and i've got to put some water in my bucket jay's hooked up oh on and off another one i don't think he's a keeper but he's a nice one still a pretty good one there's the second fish out of this new spot he's only a little eight inches i think not big enough and jay needs a new plastic oh frick that's a big one got him oh my gosh how is that not a big one i literally felt the bite in the rod and i'm a slack lined he hit that thing so hard there must be a bunch over there just like competing for this jig the way he ate that thing i mean the whole thing just popped so hard and he's just a little guy just a cute little guy hey joe we've caught like 20 crappie and only have got one keeper we were so close to having two keepers though that's a nice one right Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> Gosh, he bit it like a big one. Why did he bite me so hard? He tricked me. I thought for sure that was going to be a keeper, but nope. Dang. At least they're biting it good. <laughs> so give me back on these. Oh, there oh, we go. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be close. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be close. Get in the boat. I think it's gonna be short. Okay guys, moment of truth. This this one's gonna be really close. He's on the slide. Push his face down to it. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Dang it. Dang it. So close. <laughs> oh man. I was for sure that one was gonna be 10. Dang. But, What's a girl gotta do to catch a keeper around here? Yeah, like we're saying, we are catching the mess out of them. It's just the wrong size, which can be frustrating at times, but you know, if we just keep grinding, keep fishing, we're gonna get another one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, fish on. <laughs> oh. It's automatic. Automatic, but definitely not a keeper. You made that little color change. They tore up that chartreuse tube and you got that little albino yeah. little slab slayer on there and yeah. they are eating that thing. So I've been doing this little white jig all day and I felt like I was getting more crappie bites than her. I felt like she was getting more bluegill bites. Swapped that more bait fish color and a little crappie is slaying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, she missed. Got him. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Catching all the babies. I'd say just put that one on the hook and throw them out there, but I don't know if that would even help. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's already on there. You gotta be kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting out of control. Yes. I'm like a baby magnet right now. Ah. Still cute. <laughs> Let's see. 
That's the juice. She's in there. Oh, there he is. He popped it. He locked it. He dropped it. She. Oh. I missed it. Oh. These birds are fighting. He said. Ah! <laughs> oh. Freaking pummeled it. Decent. I like the strike. I like the attitude. Don't like the size as much. <laughs> Jay's got one nibbling. Oh. I wonder if I deepened up just a smidge. Cause I know I'm fishing like, I could fish a, I could fish a foot deeper. Mmm. Be another close one. Nope. If the last one wasn't, this one's not one. Dang, it's just so sad because you could definitely get some good slabs off that size of fish. Okay, a little deeper. Down there to the slobs. Mmm, that feels decent. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. That is not a small one. That is not a small one. That's not a small one. Yes! 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 Mmm! Hmm. Finally, it took like 20 crappie to catch this second keeper, but man, that is a really nice and a really thick and healthy black yes. crappie. So we had been fishing our jigs about 18 inches below our bobber, but I made the comment that maybe we should deepen our presentation a little bit so maybe that the jig could sink down below the small fish and get to maybe where some bigger ones are hanging out at because we do have a little bit deeper water right now and boom like that was the first cast with it that is a really really nice black yeah. crappie we're gonna throw him on the crappie slide he's probably gonna be bigger than the crappie slide oh yeah that's what you like to see right there you like to see that yeah. tail going past the crappie slide <laughs> that's a good one so we've got a really nice white crappie and a really nice black crappie now we're gonna cast a few more times been here so we can get some bigger ones now that we know that we need to deepen our jigs a little bit that's sick get in there with your buddy let's get some more Oh, there's a crappie. Got him. Be a keeper. Be a keeper. Be a keeper. Oh, it's another just snail biter. I don't know. I don't know, Jay. I don't know either. I think it's a nine and a half or. We made this move over here, and if our first fish is a nine and a half inch fish, that's not too bad. Even better if he's 10. Oh. Nine and three quarters. Oh, come on. Nine and three quarters. We were so close, but not close enough. And now we're drifting. This wind is getting ridiculous. We're gonna send you back. Try again. It's just yellow bass. One more cast back here. There ain't no yellow bass. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I had a fish and a stick. That might have been a crappie though. That was interesting. Uh oh, that's a big one. Please be a crappie. Please be a, oh, it's a big crappie, Jay. It's a big old crappie. Big old crappie. Come here, we need you. Yes! Oh, he smoked it. Nice. We tucked back up in here in this really wooded area to try to get out of the wind. The wind is just killing us, and that guy smoked it. Just crunched that little plastic all the way down there. That was a good move. That was a good move. We were catching all those little ones in that one spot, and uh, dang, that's a really nice fish. <laughs> now you got three keepers now? Yeah. We can work with three keepers, Jay. Epic yeah. fish. We tried really hard and out of like 40 fish that we caught, we only have three keepers in the bucket, which is really crazy. But hey, at least we have enough for lunch. 
we know exactly how we're going to be eating these fish today so we're going to get these fish back home and we will catch you guys back at the house all right guys we're back and we're here in the kitchen we got our fish all cleaned up they're here on the plate some beautiful looking slabs and tonight we're going to be cooking one of our favorite dishes which is crappie tacos we've got all the fixings out here baby c's back here in the background he is excited say hi hi say hi I'm here too. jay's here too we only care about the baby though right <laughs> but anyways i have um the skillet here warmed up let me try this around so you can see what we got going on in the skillet it's just some butter and a little bit of olive oil or actually it's actually sunflower oil and olive oil so that's good stuff but here's our fish and i'm gonna go ahead and add these guys to the skillet yeah so that's good and hot let's add our fish onto here get them cooking mm, it's not as hot as i thought it was but they'll heat up they'll cook there we go getting a little sizzle out of that one so there we have our full skillet filled up with our crappie slabs we also have our oven set to 325 which is the perfect temperature for our taco shells these are actually the lime flavored taco shells they're super good when making fish tacos but these guys shouldn't take that long to cook once they get going they're starting to get going right there maybe like four or five minutes the oven should be warmed up soon and i'm just ready to put all of this together fish tacos are like our favorite thing to cook it's super easy especially the recipe that we do and we haven't had them in a while so it's gonna be a real treat and i'm excited about it so let's get everything all whipped up and i will show you guys the finished product and there you have it folks the tacos are done but we're missing a few key ingredients that we normally have on the tacos I thought we had some avocados, and I we did, but they were not ripe. And I tried one, it was disgusting. Well, yeah. That's, it was, that we're not going to have that then. Yeah, it was literally horrible. So we're rocking with the uh, the taco seasoned fish meat. We have some green sauce. It's this uh, avocado tomatillo Bucky's salsa. It's pretty good. And then some Taco Bell Woo! hot sauce. And then that's pretty much it, right? That's and right. It's tomatoes. tomatoes. Tomatoes, yes. yes. It's our last tomato out of our garden. So we'll be ending the uh, tomato growing season with a bang. <laughs> and if you notice, something happened to those shells. I don't know what happened, but they just went flat on yeah, us. Yeah, they there. look pretty weird. This is like, how am I supposed to eat this? I don't know. It's almost like a... Um, <laughs> like a tostada. Yeah, a tostada <laughs> and a taco shell made a baby. But <laughs> go on ahead and give that a taste. And, oh, sign brace. He said, I'm a bulldozer. He said, hey, give me some of that. You want some fish tacos? <laughs> yeah? You want some fish tacos? He said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this might be a little off. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about that, buddy? Are you upset that we're eating tacos without you? He said, yeah, I'm really upset. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a little awkward, but here we go. That's good. Pretty good taco? Mm hmm There he is. Nice one. Begging. Begging. There he is. Begging. No begging. 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 Big old crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Welcome back guys. I am out here on the lake this morning on the edge of this beautiful cypress tree forest and we're about to make our way in there and see if we can catch some crappie. You've seen in the previous couple of videos that we have found a few fish in here but they seem to be kind of scattered out and they're kind of hard to land on but whenever you do you tend to catch quite a few so that's exactly what we're hoping to do today. We're gonna make our way into the middle of this and see if we can find some. Hope y'all are excited to join along with me on today's fishing adventure. If so do me a huge favor hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and let's go slay some slabs. Oh, there we go, fish on. Fish on, he's in the bushes. <laughs> yes, there we go. First fish of the day. A little black crappie, not a keeper, but that is a good start. I'm happy to see there are still some fish hanging out here in this spot. I'll send him back. That's awesome, that was literally the first cast. Hopefully, there'll be some bigger ones here today. 
crushed it. There he is. Nice one. Big and big and big, big, big. That's a keeper. Get up here. Get up here. Woohoo! Yes. There we go. That did not take long to get our first keeper of the day. That is a solid black crappie. He's like twice as big or three times as big as that first one. That is epic. What a beautiful fish. Bit just right out there in front of me. There's a little stump and I twitched that jig right next to that stump and he just cranked it. Okay, let's get some water in our bucket. And we will throw him in there. In the bucket. Pitch it back in the same spot, see if there's another one sitting there. Same size or bigger. Oh, ooh. oh no, I missed it. No. I'm also getting bit by a lot of bluegill out there, so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes if you're getting bit by bluegill or crappie. Like with crappie, whenever they bite your jig, you'll see your bobber just go pop, and then it'll go joop. With bluegill, they'll usually kind of like pop it a couple times, and then it'll kind of just go down, kind of, you know, kind of more erratically. Oh, that's a little guy. Back on the baby train. Oh, 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 oh. Just a little guy. There's another crappie. Another crappie. Another little guy, though. About an eight incher, seven and a half incher. Pretty fish, though. I really catch these in the bluegill. Just had a bluegill still in my plastic. Let me show you guys what I'm throwing today. I'm using this guy right here, just the little baby shad. A little pearl white color. I feel like they'd eat just about any um, shad looking color. Honestly, probably any plastic, but that's just what we're rocking with today. It's a, it's a jig at the top of my box. Don't have to dig far for it. And then I'm rigging it on this little 30 second ounce jig head. It's orange. I really like orange jig heads. Has a number four hook on there. I like the bigger hook whenever I'm crappie fishing because they have big mouths. More gap to hook them with. And that's it. It's very basic, very simple. And then I've got it below a little tiny trout magnet bobber. So it's nice and quiet when it enters the water. Deadly little combination for these little suspended crappie here in the trees. Got him. Got him. Woo! <laughs> the little guy's just flying in the boat. I keep waiting for whenever these big ones are gonna show up. We'll just have nothing but big ones in here, but for now we'll take these little ones while we can. You know, it's just still a lot of fun catching them and we're still getting some keepers mixed in, which is good. But I have, you know, eventually there should be a time whenever we're catching like nothing but keepers. And that is the day I'm looking forward to the most. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a chunky one. But he's not going to be 10 inches, but he is a chunky one. That was fun. He smashed it. Just, I mean, I love the colors on these black crappie. They are just so beautiful. Big old eyes, big old mouth. They're like the ultimate predator out here in the swamp. Oh, God, him, begging, begging, right here in front of me. Oh, no, he came off. Dang. Oh, they're loaded right there. Better ones. Get up here. Yes. There we go, guys. There's the second keeper of the day. Let's go. Let's go. Nice one. We just missed that one right here in front of us, and it seems like they are, oh, big old bass just jumped right there. It might be loaded right here, in front, I mean, literally five feet in front of the kayak. I got my leg propped up on this tree. Another one, giant, giant. Another one. <laughs> okay, maybe not a giant. Not a giant, but he smoked it. Gobbled, gone, gonzo.
that's how it is out here guys you just got to just move around and you know kind of feel out where the fish are at and eventually if you're lucky you'll land on them which i think we might have just landed on them i mean it literally landed right on top of them that's another one begging begging not kidding begging begging oh all these trees are in my way Chip in the boat Mm. We're having fun now, guys. <laughs> that is awesome. They're literally right there. It's crazy how close they are to the boat right now. In the bucket. I wish I could get in a more comfortable position, but this is the best I can do and actually be able to cast. I have tree branches all around me, as you can see. I'm like barely able to get my bait out there. Surely they're gonna get spooked in a second, all this commotion. I'm trying to be stealthy as possible. Ugh. There he is. Begging. No, they're begging. No, they're begging. There they are. Mm. Get in the boat. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Woo hoo. Finally. The big ones are here, guys. They have made it here, and I'm on them. I'm on top of them. I'm gonna try to pull up just a little bit. Oh. This is a little bit better of an angle. Okay. <laughs> Most awkward cast ever. I can't even hold my rod up in the air right to fight these fish. Oh gosh, another one, another big one. Another big one. Ah. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> so sweet. Okay, in the bucket. I'm running out of things to say. I'm just excited. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to be stealthy. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying not to spook all the fish that are here. I don't know if there's anybody else out here fishing or not. I don't want them to know I'm catching them. Because they'll come up on you. You know how crappy fishermen are. They're thirsty for the slabs. Oh, I almost got hung up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, get here. Oh. I really think I need a jig rod right now. Oh, that's another good one. What I need right here, guys, is a little jig rod. I can just pitch it out there to them and then yank them in the boat. I have one at the house. I might go get it here in a little bit, but... That's another nice one. I think he's borderline keeper. I don't think he's a keeper. I'm throwing back. Whew. I feel like I haven't even made a good cast yet. That's about to get smoked. Oh no. Oh, that's not what you want. Oh, get on time. Do it. Okay guys, so earlier on we were out here fishing and I didn't realize it, but my GoPro actually died on my chest without me knowing. I was just catching fish after fish, wasn't paying attention. Um, I only caught maybe like four or five more keepers off camera uh, until that school eventually died. Um, I went back to the house, I hung out there for a while, but I'm back out here on the lake. I have about an hour of daylight left to fish and uh, I'm hoping that I can get back on a similar bite in some of the same areas that I caught those fish earlier. So we're gonna start casting. We don't have a lot of time to fish, but I would like to see if we can get some more because it definitely seems like they're starting to show themselves here in the swamp. So let's get after it. Let's see if we can catch some big ones. <laughs> Biggin, biggin, big old crappie. That's what I'm talking about. Stay on the line, baby. We back and we got the biggins. Let's go. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yes, we are back after them, guys. That is a nice one. That is a really nice one out here. Hoo. That's gonna be like the second biggest of the day. He was just right here in this tunnel 
back at it for the late afternoon bite. Oh, that's so sick. Let me get some water in my bucket. Pick it right back up where we stuck, where we left off. Whew. That's a nice one. Big crappie, big crappie, big crappie, big crappie. Oh no, get up here. Yes. Oh, I just messed that up. <laughs> Dang it. I started trolling forward because I wanted to move up here a little bit and this fish bit right where I was heading. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's another really nice one. We've only caught two so far and it's really starting to get dark out here, but the two we've caught have been really quality sized fish. Anyways, I'll put this one in the bucket. Hopefully I didn't spook everything over here. Maybe I can turn around and catch another one. In the bucket. All right, so where we left off, we were in the tree swamp. It was getting dark. I had just caught that nice crappie, but after that, I didn't catch anything else. It got dark and I brought all the fish back to the house. Um, it's actually the next day now. I put all those fish on ice and I want to show you guys the catch that we got. We got some really nice fish. I'm pretty proud of it. Let's bust this cooler open. Look at all of those slabs in there. These are the biggest ones we've caught by far this year. Like here's a really nice black crappie. I think there's a bigger one than that in there, but check that out. Oh, really, nice. really nice and very freezing cold slab. <laughs> That's a good one. I think we had 13 total in here. Look at this big one. Oh, wow. Big old slimy Dang. crappie. The only thing about keeping these crappie on ice all day is that they do get a little bit slick and slimy, but that's all right. We'll rinse them off. We're actually about to get the cleaning station all set up so we can clean these boys and get them ready to eat for dinner. So that'll be fun. Let's get these fish cleaned up and then let's enjoy them for a nice hot dinner. Okay guys, so it's actually lunchtime now. I told y'all I was gonna make some dinner with the fish, but you know, it's lunchtime now. But we have fish cooking in front of me. Let me show you guys what we got going on. We've got our crappie fillets here in the skillet. We got some Slappy Mama on them. They're just cooking in some butter and they are about done. And then if you look over here, we've got some brown rice stewing. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little healthy lunch, brown rice and fish, you can't beat it. It's going to be delicious and it's so quick and easy to do. It's gonna be some good fuel because we're actually about to hit the lake and do some more fishing for some more crappie. So it really doesn't get better than that. Eating some crappie and then doing some crappie fishing. So let me finish getting this all whipped up and then we will show you guys what the finished product looks like. And there you have it, my friends. There is our lunch for the day. We have our Slap Your Mama seasoned uh, crappie fillets, our brown rice, and then we added some turnip greens to the mix because why not? We needed some extra color on our plate. Otherwise, this thing would look pretty drab. Jay, how are you feeling about this? It's so good. It's yummy. She's yeah. already dug into it. Yeah, I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> yeah, we decided that we were going to try to uh, make a healthier turn this week. We've been kind of eating a lot of fast food for lunch, not so much for dinner, but for lunch. And so we wanted to kind of mix things up and try to do better eating healthier for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. And see if it makes a change in our like physical activity, see if it makes us feel better, <laughs> see if we're able to fish better, you mm -hmm. know, with a better balanced diet. Wow, that looks very tasty. Greens are awesome. Mm -hmm. mm. There we go, I've got a little bit of brown rice and fish on my fork, it looks kind of hot. Is it too hot to eat? Is I it think good? you're good. Can I burn my tongue? Here we go, let's go for it. Go for it. <laughs> I could literally eat that for lunch every day, honestly. Yeah. Got him. He popped it hard. It's a decent fish. Oh, it's a real decent fish. Oh, stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Get in the boat. Yeah. There we go, guys. There's the first one of the afternoon. He absolutely crushed that little salt and pepper jig. That is definitely a keeper. He's gonna be like 12 inches or so. 
really, really nice fish. That's exciting. Getting the afternoon started off just right with a big old keeper slab crappie. Let's get some water in that bucket and let's get back out there. Another one, big and, oh, he came off. Oh no. That was another giant. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, JJ. Oh, that's a really nice one. Grab him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just lost that big one, but now Jay is on the board with another monster black crappie. A slab, That baby. is a slab. He looks so beautiful with the light coming in on the I backside know. of his fins. Wow, what a beautiful fish. We're trying to be quiet. We don't want to spook these fish. We're in a very, very small little area. So we're going to drop this one in the bucket and get back out there and see if we get another one. Put him in the bucket. <laughs> Oh God, big and another good one, another good one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Get up here. <laughs> There's my second keeper crappie of the day. Another one just on that little one and a half inch tube. That makes three keepers so far. There are definitely some good ones here in this little spot. That is exciting. Here we go. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, JJ. That is another nice one. Oh, she flipped him in. Just flip him right in. Oh my gosh, we are catching nothing but slabs right now. That is so exciting. And did you see me just flipping right in the boat? No, you just flipped him in. <laughs> that was awesome. There's this nothing. is definitely a bucket worthy fish. Absolutely. Drop him in there. That sun is starting to set. Hopefully it'll go down sooner than later because it is really bright, but yeah. we're slaying them, so it don't matter. <laughs> oh, get him, get him, get him. Another big one. Another big one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, another good one. This is so much fun. Oh, can't get enough of it. Drop him in there. Give me some. Some bastards having field day on those shad. Got him, got him. It's loaded, it's loaded. That spot is loaded. Oh, nothing but keepers too. Look at him go. In the boat, boom, that's another nice one. Mm. They're biting it on after long pauses, so we'll twitch it a couple times, let it sit there for like three or four seconds, maybe even five seconds, and then they just pop it, they bust it, suck the whole thing down. Ooh. That's a crappie. That's a big old sucker. Yes, sir. Ooh. It was a little cat and mouse game for a minute, but we finally got him in the boat. We changed our angle because that sun was just blind, I guess. It was ridiculous. It was hard to film in. And uh, this is actually a much better um, angle to where we're actually trying to cast at. OJ just got smoked. That's another nice keeper in the bucket. My bobber was gone. That's not a crappie. I think these guys are responsible for messing with our heads. Yellow bass pull it down similarly to a crappie, but they ain't the same. There we go. Ooh, is that a crappie? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Slabs only. I am catching nothing but slabs. And I am loving it. Look at that fish. Let me see that big guy. <laughs> big old fatty. <laughs> Drop him in with his buddies. Yee yee. That's a big one. It's a real big one. It's a real big one. 
It's a really big crappie. Gotcha, son. That's how you do it right there. That is the biggest one of the day. Look at the size of that mouth. I swapped it to a little bit larger size plastic. I threw into a big old pot of minnows and I didn't even move it. He just busted it. He thought one of his little minnow buddies he was stalking died and he ate it. Big old guy. Okay guys, the sun has nearly set. Man, what an eventful little afternoon out here on the lake it was. It was kind of stressful. We were trying to be quiet in some of these spots. There were some other anglers looming in the distance. You know, we were trying to not give away the hot spot because it was on fire. Oh, Jay's in the bucket gonna get a couple of these slabs out to show us. She just got soaked. <laughs> it's so funny, but it's around. She just got <laughs> got by those slabs, didn't you? <laughs> that really big one that you caught just splashed me. Yeah, that big one that I caught last second was a really nice addition to the bucket. But all the fish, we caught them right here, basically. This little hole. Not sure why they were hanging there, but they were. They were, oh gosh. Oh, look at that. Look at that fish. That, that is. It. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is awesome. And that is why you come out here and do some crappie fishing in the fall time because big slabs, will they'll gang up. And if you get a little honey hole like this, you can catch them one after another until you catch them all basically. Cool. But I think we have like eight or nine or maybe even 10 in the bucket. We'll count them up when we get back to the house, but we need to get there before it gets too dark. What a monster. <laughs> yeah, that is a stud. I think that has to be the biggest one we've caught so far this oh, fall. Yeah. He's oh not, gosh, he's, he's not chunky. too, I don't think he's two pounds, but he's gonna be like, pound and three quarters or so he is a thick boy he's gonna have some big old fillets on him <laughs> all right let's put him back in the bucket and let's get out of here before we get lost or something something yeah. bad happens we've had a good afternoon <laughs> the best We got the fish all cleaned and cooked up and today we are going to be making one of my favorites and that is a slabby patty. Ah! So we have all of our ingredients that we're going to be using right here. We got our little helper Cypress. How you doing this today is, Cypress? This is his first time making slabby patties. He just dropped his spatula. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now he's going to try to grab my bun. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let's show you guys how we like to put together our slabby patties. Um, so we have our buns and we have some tartar sauce You gotta have tartar sauce, but Cole doesn't like tartar sauce, so he doesn't put it on his But it definitely tastes really good on there Here Just gonna get a little out I'm not left-handed <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna grab our piece of fried fish, AKA our slabby patty. We're gonna lay it on there. And then we're gonna top it with some tomato. And we have some romaine lettuce. And you cannot not have pickles. So we're gonna add some delicious pickles. I just picked these up at the grocery store today and I gotta say they are they By are, far, some of the best pickles I've ever had in my life. They are really good. Sorry I'm picking them out with my hand. That's okay. They're called butcher shop pickles. And this whole tub was like three bucks. I was like, dang, I cannot pass that up. Okay, so we have the pickles on. Now, we put the top bun on. And we have a slabby patty. Cypress, what do you think about that slabby patty? Does it look good? You think you get to eat it with your two teeth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> You weren't much help putting it together. No, you weren't. Oh gosh, <laughs> oh, gosh. you're gonna destroy it, aren't Don't you? destroy it, Cypress. Destroy Don't destroy it. it, it's a work of art. <laughs> Jay, you made that thing look delicious. Now let's see how it tastes. Okay, here we go, Cypress. Oh, Cypress. Cypress, leave my plate alone. This takes two hands. <laughs> mm. What do you think about it, Cypress? Oh man. <laughs> That is fantastic. Oh my goodness, this is like the best. These sloppy patties are like my favorite ways to eat fish. Is it better than a filet of fish at McDonald's? Oh yeah, oh yeah.
up everybody welcome back to the channel it's Cole and Jay and today we have returned to the swamp in hopes of catching some big slab crappie we don't have a lot of time this afternoon to get stark so early now which really stinks but that's okay we're hoping to be able to get out there find some fish and sling them in the boat so if you guys love the crappie fishing videos be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so let's get out here and let's go find some fish Crappie. Good one. Good one. On the board, baby. Get up here. He's jumping like a bass. Get up here. Heck yeah. And just like that, guys, we are on the board with our first slab of the afternoon. Slayed that little Bobby Garland little straight tail minnow. It's a nice one. Like a 12 incher. Put him in the bucket. Big one. Chase hooked up. <laughs> oh, she lost him. Oh, there he is. Another nice one. Another nice one. We're in the juice, Jay. Get up here. Woohoo. Second one of the day, right after the first one. And Jay just missed one, so definitely seems like there's a few fish sitting here in this little spot. There's two. There's another one, big in, big in. Yes, yes. Jay, you better get going. <laughs> ah, I'm feeling crazy today. I'm feeling crazy. <laughs> three casts in this little hole and we've already got three nice slabs. Could have had four though. Could have had four. There he is, there he is. Oh, she caught the smallest one. <laughs> Right, is it? No, it's not. That is the smallest fish in that entire hole, I bet. Mm. Another fish. Another fish. I can't tell if it's a keeper or not. That's too small. <sighs> He's gonna be a little too short. Look at that. A beautiful white crappie. He's clean. He's just gonna be a little short. There's my fourth fish. See ya. It's four to one. Jay still got that little one in her hands. <laughs> Tiny little guy not look like a slab queen fish. It does not. You're gonna have to send that one back and get back after the slabs. My streak is over. I caught some leaves. There's the bait I'm using guys. Just a little Bobby Garland, little straight tail, pearl plastic. Oh gosh, there we go. And we're just pitching it out here to this little hole in the woods. Oh, there's another one. Oh no, no. Okay, we're back in the juice. Even about five seconds. Oh. oh. There he is, biggin, biggin, another biggin. Oh, watch your rod, watch your rod, watch your rod. We're good, we're good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another nice one. Black crappie this time. There he is. Busted him. Oh. Oh, Jay. <laughs> I think so. Oh my gosh. What is going on, Jay? That's another good one. Why are they eat mine and not yours? Oh, another good one. Another white crappie. This one here is going to keep, though. That one there will keep. That's a good one. I'm going to keep feeding them while they're in a feeding frenzy. Oh, Jay just got smoked. <laughs> He's got it. No, he don't. I can't tell. <laughs> there we go. Do, do you, here. I need a new jig. Let's get the same color. You're, let me see this. So Jay's throwing this kind of albino color. It's got a little bit of purple to it, which shouldn't matter, but she's missing them and they're not eating it as quickly. So I'll get down here in the tackle box and get the exact same jig. I'm also going to swap out the jig head. That was a 32nd ounce jig head. And um, there's a bunch of leaves on top of the water and she's catching more leaves than me. So thinking the heavier jig head punches through the leaves a little bit better. 
help us land more fish. This one, has, this one also has a bigger hook on it. And for the record, guys, Jay is 100% capable of tying on her own jig. <laughs> I just have all the tackle back here. <laughs> okay, we are rigged. You have no depth good. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Okay, there we go. We are all rigged up. We have the same thing on, basically. Thanks, you are welcome, slab queens. Put some slabs in the boat now. Got him, got him, got him. Little guy, little guy, little black crappie. I mean, not super little. There's a lot of places where you can keep this guy, but out here on this lake, they gotta be 10 inches. Nice. Mmm, mm. giant. Giant. It's a giant. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I feel bad. What's I'm going on? I'm feeling bad. I mean you're up there and you got the front of the boat, you have direct access to him. What what is going on? What's different? I don't know. There's nothing different. We have different bobbers. I have a little drop magnet bobber. But it's pretty much the same thing. That's another good one. Another good crappie. Oh, there's one. Can't tell how big that is. It feels decent. Oh, she's hooked up. Doubles. Doubles. I think it's a couple of non-keepers. Hey, I'm finally back on the board again, but unfortunately, still too small, but a little bit bigger than the last one. So, hopefully the next one is a slab. <laughs> This guy's pretty nice, but I don't think he's going to be 10 inches, so I'm going to send him back. Um, it's currently brewing up a nice windstorm up here in the swamp. Lots of leaves are falling off the trees and covering the top of the water, and that's like our biggest issue right now, is there's just so many leaves out here, and uh, we're foul hooking our jigs, so most of our casts are like going to waste because they're getting leaves on the hook. But it seems like we get lucky. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is, <laughs> but what I, was, what I was saying is it seems like if we get lucky and our bait um, comes through clean, then we're getting bit. There he is. I'm getting out of your way. I'll like say a nicer one. Oh, I don't think it's a keeper though. Goodness gracious. What's a girl got to do to catch a keeper around here? Still too small to keep. Maybe next time. Oh, there we go. Oh. Still not a keeper. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's okay, at least I'm actually getting some fish in the boat now. bit right next to that tree whenever I land by it. And I got a leaf. Dang it. We need a rake. We need a leaf blower. <laughs> we need a leaf blower where you just go and blow the leaves away. Probably scare all the fish. They'd be gone. Never come back. We never see him again. Got him. He's a little guy. Is that even a crappie? It is a crappie. Just a little one. Whoa. Big fish just jumped back there. There's definitely um, a bunch of different sized fish hanging out here in the same school. Oftentimes you'll find uh, fish of similar size hanging out together, but this is definitely a mixed school. If we were catching a bunch of fish that were small like this, we'd probably just move on and try to find the bigger ones. But since we are getting some keepers mixed in, it's hard to leave, especially when they're biting this good. And when we don't have a lot of time to fish this afternoon. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't even see him pull it under, it just got heavy. That's a good one. Yeah, bolt flip, baby. Mmm. You've gotta love that, guys. You can say you don't, but you gotta love that. That is another really nice, solid, sunset, black crappie. Smoke the jig. 
another keeper for us in the bucket. Oh, I'm on fire again. I'm on fire again, JJ. <laughs> this one here is round. It's kind of like a dinner plate. Not a keeper, though. See you. Uh-oh. Not to get smoked. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, my gosh. I'm about to need a new plastic after that one. He ripped me a new one just then. Okay, I'm back in his, I'm back in the juice. Give me another chance. Give me another chance. When he is like, oh, mm. <laughs> watch your face. Okay, I'm coming. Now, oh, he's in the boat. Now, while this fish is not a keeper, what's good about catching some of these little ones is that they wallow around on top of the surface and they break up some of the leaves. So even the little ones are helping us out. See, I got a perfect little lane, just landed in it. Now we're gonna catch a 15 inch slab, 18 inch slab, world record slab right there. There he is. That's a keeper, not even kidding. I don't know if it's a keeper. <laughs> it's not a keeper. I hooked a stick for a second. Not bad though. Not too bad at all. Another nice little black crappie. Oh, Jay's got one. Doubles, double trouble. Man. The dinks are here. <laughs> oh, not a big one. Not a bad one. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's stuck. What's he stuck on? Oh, he's off. Noted, there is a stick there. That was scary. Little guy. I just wore out my plastic, so we're getting a new one. It's the exact bait we're throwing. Baby Shad, Bobby Garland, Pearl White. It's doing it to them. They're loving it. They're loving it. I think they'd eat just about any color though. I think Jay was just being weird with them earlier. I was catching leaves. <laughs> oh. Stud. That Not big. a stud. Not a stud? Feisty though. Super feisty. My goodness. You put up quite the fight. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, finally. Finally. Yes. That's a really good one. Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. I finally got a keeper to put in the boat. That took way too long, but watch out, Cole. The slab queen is back in action. That is a really nice <laughs> one. One of the larger ones we've caught today. A beautiful black crappie. Send him in there to join his buddies. Woo! Oh, give me some. Get some more. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Yeah, baby. Come Get on. That Woo Get that Woo Woo -hoo. Yes. Told you. Slap queen. Back in action, baby. That's two keepers in a row. Two keepers in a row. Let's go. Slap city. Slap city. Where are the big ends at in Slab City? Slab City. I guess you still haven't heard from that guy. Well, that was dope. That was dope. That might be big. That's definitely big. Jay, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That is a good one. Come here. Come here. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, I think it's redemption. Does he have any holes in his mouth? Nope, not the one I missed, but that is a really nice one. That's the biggest one I've caught today.
We have been catching crappie from this tiny little hole out here in the swamp, just cast after cast after cast. This is the biggest one I've caught so far today. He's gonna be like pound and a quarter, pound and a half ish or so. Really, really solid black crappie. Um, I think we have eight or nine in the bucket, so this might be nine or 10, I'm not sure. But either way, we're doing really well. We have about 30 minutes of daylight left to fish out here. So let's put this guy back in the bucket and let's get back out there. Oh, splashed me in the face. <laughs> now let's see if we can catch some more big ones. Mmm. What is that? <laughs> is that a bass? No, it's a crappie. Gonna be a little short, I think. Oh, did you get a bite? Things gonna be a little short. We'll send him back. But it's been a minute. The bite has definitely slowed down quite a bit. Jay just made the comment that uh, the wind quit blowing and the fish quit biting. <laughs> so maybe, maybe there's something to that right now. Um, our hole has definitely opened up quite a bit. We're able to work our jigs more freely, but that was the first fish in about 15 minutes. Whereas we were, oh, they're back. They're back. <laughs> I was gonna say we hadn't, uh, we were catching them every cast and then we hadn't had a bite in 15 minutes, but now I just caught two in a row. Two dinks though. Let's get at least one more good keeper, Jay. I think we can do it. Oh, on the pause. That's a good one. It was just sitting there. I was looking over to the left and looked back and my bobber got smoked. Oh, it's another good one. Come here though. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. That's another nice one. It looks like the one I just caught. I mean, the last big one I caught. He's a little bit smaller, but that's a really good one. Might be the second biggest I've caught today. I was letting it just sit there, just dangling, just free spinning. And he was all over it, all about it. That is a pristine, and beautiful fish. Got to love that. That's the perfect fish, in my opinion. Just take home and eat. Keep splashing water all over me though. We're obviously doing pretty well with our jigs right now, but I can only imagine if we had a bucket of minnows and we had like kind of a heavy weight to keep them out of the leaves, just toss them out there and let them sit there and swim around, they would probably just get smoked one after another. But I prefer to catch them on jigs over minnows, don't you, Jay? But it's nice to have little alternatives whenever it slows down. Okay guys, so we've been fishing this same hole for like the last hour and a half or so, and we caught so many fish. We caught like 30 or 40, and I think we got like 10 or 12 keepers in the bucket. Jay's got a couple of big ones, don't you? Oh man, look at that. A couple of nice stud yeah. black crappie, but you know, all, you know what they say, all good things eventually have to come to an end and that's what happened here we quit catching fish but i honestly think we just caught them all what do you think, I think jay you showed me up today pretty yeah. bad hey i was i was feeling my a game today i missed a bunch too um <laughs> i lost some really nice ones i probably lost the biggest one that i hooked today but that's all right it was a lot of fun coming out here this afternoon and catching some of these nice slabs and we're both definitely looking forward to the day where we're going to be able to eat these fish There we go guys, we are on the board this morning. I don't think it's a keeper, but that is our first one. I'll take it. Not a monster, but like a healthy eight and a half inch or so. There he is, first fish, not gonna keep. But it's a good sign we're in the right spot. There we go, there's another nice one. That might keep right there. I think we got a keeper. Duper. Yes, sir. There we go, guys. The second fish of the day is a really nice sized black crappie. Definitely a keeper. That's a solid start of the day. Second fish. Nice, like 11 inch fish. Beautiful. Let's get him in the bucket. Let's see if we can get another one. Nice one. Nice to stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Get 
get in the boat. Oh, he's barely hooked. There you go, guys. That is another really nice fish. He's slightly larger than the last one. Looks really good. I caught him in the exact same spot. So maybe they're loaded up right there. It's going to be lucky to get another one. Mm. <laughs> that is not what we're looking for right there. That is a little tiny guy. I'll take the tiny guys. Oh, it's our first white crappie too. Look at that. First white crappie of the day. Look at his fins. They just all tore up. Not a monster. Oh, that's a good one. Get up here. Oh, get off that. Oh, he's not as big as I thought he was. He got kind of wrapped around a stick. Dang. I thought I had a monster for a second. This guy right here tricked me pretty bad. I thought I had a nice one, but he was wrapped around a stick. So that is not exactly the size we're looking for, but he was still fun, put up a good fight. He'll be a keeper next year. Oh gosh, that's him. That is him, guys. That's a big one. Stay on there. Stay on there, big buddy. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, I got you. Now that right there is the kind that we are after this morning, my friends. That is a nice one. I didn't even see the bobber go down. I was just kind of pulling. I kind of looked away a little bit and I felt some weight. And I thought I had some leaves, honestly, but it turned out to be the biggest of the day so far. I mean, look at that. They just inhale that little jig. That's a really solid fish. Let's put him in the bucket and see if we can get some more like that. I would honestly really like if we can catch one double this size. It's definitely possible out here. Haven't caught anything that big yet, um, but there's definitely some monsters that live in this swamp. So let's keep casting. Let's see if we can get a big one. That's another nice one. Oh gosh. Stay on there. Stay in this pool in the boat. Walk here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Not quite as big as the last one we just caught, but that's still a good one. I think it's our second biggest of the day. He was pulling so hard trying to take me to a brush pile, but I was putting some extra heat on him and he felt a little bit bigger than what he is, but still really solid fish. It seems like they're really starting to pick up in this spot. It's like I'll fish for, you know, five or six minutes without getting bit and then I'll get bit three or four times in a row. Maybe there's just like schools of fish coming in and out of this little hole. I'm not exactly sure, but I ain't mad at it. That's another good one. Let's keep adding to the bucket. Got him. That's another keeper. Another keeper. Stay on there. Get in the boat. Yes. <laughs> That's three in a row, baby. Three fish, three casts, three keepers. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, my bobber's gone. Oh, it's another good one. Another good one. Stay on there. Come on. I need to come in the boat, baby. One, two, get in here. Ooh, a fat one. I've kind of slowed down my presentation. I've been casting it out there, let it sit uh, for about five or six seconds, and I'll twitch it and then let it sit there for maybe like up to 10 seconds. And it seems like the longer pauses are really driving these fish crazy. I was working a little bit faster when I first got out here. Um, I think it's just the ticket. The water's pretty clear. They can see that bait just sitting there, just kind of dangling and, you know, and twitching underneath the surface. And they just come over and just inhale it. Crappie have excellent vision, so it's not hard for them to track it down. Another nice one, the quality is starting to show up, and that is really exciting. Oh, 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 oh. That's a little guy. <laughs> my buddy just texted me, and I went to check my phone, and as soon as I did, my bobber went under, and we got ourselves another fish. He's not a keeper, but it's a nice one. 
We'll see you. See that episode. Hook is free. <laughs> that right there was a lucky snag. And I think that that one is actually going to be the biggest we've caught so far today. Really solid fish. I should have brought my net. I have a little orange, just like perfect little kayak landing net. And um, I just forgot it. I got to bring it next time. Make landing these bigger fish so much easier. I could just flip them in the boat, but I've had some come off that way. Either way, that's another good one. Put them in the bucket. I mean, they're biting really, really well now. They were really slow to start off, which was kind of, kind of weird. I thought they were gonna bite better, you know, at daylight. But as the sun's gotten up a little bit, they've just really, really started munching. Big old black crappie, beautiful fish. Another one, another big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, stay on there. Oh my gosh, go over that one. Oh my gosh. Choked it. <laughs> he, oh my gosh, guys. Look at how far down that jig is. Do you see that jig? If you can't see it, I understand because it is gone. Another slab, maybe? We were out here in Slab City this morning. Heck yeah. Yo, I just got my cheese smoked so hard. I wasn't even looking. Golly. Maybe he'll bite it again. I don't know. He hit that. Oh, mm, mm, I saw you. There he is. He came back for it. That's him too. That is absolutely him. Oh, it's a good fish. It's a nice one. Snow cone. <laughs> oh, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> a little crappie snow cone. I don't know if it's the one that bit me a minute ago. I don't see any other holes in his mouth. Whew, that's a good one. Look at that. He's got this weird like hole right in the middle of his dorsal fin. Really interesting, but just a really just I mean just perfect crappie specimen. Such a good fish. in the boat <laughs> next gas that guy was a fighter slabs on that guy oh begging 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 stay on there begging Probably shouldn't have swung that one. <laughs> so great to be able to come out here and just catch a bunch of slabs. You don't get to do it all year long and you gotta take advantage of every moment you can. So sick. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, stay up there. That's a monster. Guys, things have gotten really slow out here, and uh, I was letting my bait soak right next to the base of this big cypress tree in front of me, and this monster just wrecked my world. Oh my gosh, guys, that is a stud. That is the fish that we are after out here today. That is a big old black crappie. I mean, look at the slabs on that thing. I think it's tall, I think it's thick. Look at that jig choke down in there. Whew. I was letting it just sit there, just right next to the base of that tree, just kind of just, you know, just kind of shaking it a little bit. And he wanted all of it. 
beautiful, beautiful fish. I mean, look how big that guy is. Super solid, not a blemish on him either. Can we get this guy in the bucket and get back out there? It might be more. First one, feels decent, feels decent, feels decent. Get up here. Oh, he's not a keeper. Whew. Feels good to get the first fish though. It's early, been out here for about 10 minutes. It's been really too dark to catch anything or to really see. Um, but there's our first one, he's probably like a nine and a half or hopefully there's a few more out there. But that is a good start. It's good to know there are still some crappie out here chilling. Can we throw some back? And um, we're gonna cast back out there so we can get another one. Yes. Mm, another one. It might have just took him a little bit to wake up. About the same size. Black crappie. Ooh, that's gonna be close. It's gonna be a keeper. That's a keeper. That's easily a 10 incher. Heck yeah, we're on the board. We caught a nice white crappie and now a nice black crappie. Okay, I'm throw him in the bucket. Yes, I was like, where's the crap is my bobber? I could not find it. I was looking around. I heard a duck fly over me and I thought he was fixing to get shot. It's currently duck season out here and there's been a little bit of shooting. Another nice black crappie right there. Beautiful fish looks just like a twin of the last one I caught. That's awesome. Look at that one, fellas. I was um, about to start kind of pushing up towards where my bait was, and as I hit the throttle, I think on my trolling motor, uh, my bobber went pop, and it went straight down, and that's our biggest one in the morning so far. I'm glad I didn't cruise up on top of that area because there could be a few more fish there. That would have been bad. I was caught off guard, as you saw. I did not have my hand on the reel, but hey, we got that fish in the boat. This is our third keeper, a nice solid black crappie. Hopefully there's a few more out there. And that was back in the same sort of area where I kind of started. It was actually where my boat was sitting originally this morning. So I might've been sitting on him the whole time. We'll put him back in the bucket and we'll see if there's more. Okay, so now would be an excellent time to show you what I'm using to catch these crappie this morning. I just had one mess my bait up. So here it is. I'm throwing the Bobby Garland little baby shad hologram ghost color. I've been throwing a lot of these Bobby Garlands this year. Usually um, I tend to throw um, more tube style lures, but for whatever reason this year, I've been throwing a lot of the baby shads and I've been smoking them. This color, like I said, is the hologram ghost. It's just kind of a bait fish pattern. The water's pretty clear. Um, I like to go as natural as possible. Uh, when the water's clear like this and then just this little bit of blue right here kind of helps it stand out a little bit as well as those little flashy tinsels which the tinsels i don't think are really sparkling in the water right now because it's overcast or it's not overcast but it's low light but once the sun gets up you'll really be able to see those sparkles um, shine in the water and i think that that's helping me get a few more bites but anyways that's what i'm throwing and i'm rigging it on this little jig head right here it's a 30 second ounce i think it's a bass pro shop jig head actually it's got these two little wire keepers it's just nice to holding um, these plastics on just threading it on there, making sure it's straight. Just like with any plastic, whether you're bass fishing, walleye fishing, bluegill fishing, you really want your plastics to be on straight. It's gonna make them um, have the most action in the water. Anyways, that's it, and that little tail just quivers. And of course, the final recipe to this is a little float. I've got it, the bait suspended about 18 inches below it. Throw it back out there. Another one, happened the same way. <laughs> what a train wreck. <laughs> there we go. I think what I'm learning after those last two fish catches is that you need to let Oh, shoot. Hold on a second. Let's take a few moments to, um, to, um, to think about the duck life that was potentially just lost.
Okay, so what I was saying <laughs> is that what I have learned after the last couple of fish catches is that I think I need to let my bait sit in the water um, a little bit more before I twitch, like more more pause between twitches because the last two fish, my bait was just sitting out there. I was screwing around with the paddle trying to get better boat position and I got popped. So that's what we're gonna do. It's another keeper, another nice black crappie. Throw in the bucket. That was in the same spot basically as the last fish. Oh. Uh oh. Well, if he didn't get got the first time, he probably just got got then. Rest in peace, little buddy. Put you in the bucket. Got him. It seems like all the white crappie out here are undersized. There we go. I think that's our fifth or sixth fish. Maybe I think it's our sixth fish and our second non-keeper. Still a beautiful white crappie. Some places in the state you could keep one this size, but here they gotta be 10 inches long. So we're gonna throw him back. Bye. That's a decent one. There we go. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, he looks so cool in that clear water. Yes. Yes. Mmm. There we go. Another nice black crappie. Look at him with that sunlight hitting him. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. He smoked it about, about as soon as it hit the water. Another nice keeper. There's been many times where I've been out fishing in an area and I've had, I've had steel shot coming in and land on top of me. I got him. I got him. I got him. I don't know if that's a keeper or not. I don't even know if it's a crappie. Isn't that bass? I think it's a crappie. It's a crappie. Oh, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Yes. They're starting to fire up back there. I saw some minnows flicker. Look at that one, another beauty. These are like all the perfect eaten size fish, like 11 and a half, 12 inch fish. Beautiful, beautiful crappie. I love the black crappie. I don't know if I like the black crappie more than the white crappie, as far as the pattern goes. Sometimes I like the uh, the mottled spot. Sometimes I like the bars. It's hard to decide. They're all just so beautiful. And one of my favorite fish to catch for sure. Okay, swim in the bucket. It happened again, guys. That time, the bait was literally like five feet in front of my kayak. I'm just trying to turn this corner a little bit. And uh, we've got another little white crappie. He's gonna be close to keeping size, but we're gonna throw him back. Man, I mean, I must just be working my bait a little bit too fast. I don't know. I don't know. And I feel like I've gotten some bites whenever I'm working a little bit faster. I'm not really working. I'm really not working it very fast, guys. I'm working it quite slow, but that bait sat there for at least 10 seconds between twitches. It's almost like fishing a jerk bait for bass. Once you kind of find that little cadence that they like, you know, then you can start smacking them. But I don't know. I can't tell if it's a real thing going on or if it's a fluke. That's a good one. That's a good one. Stay on. Okay, okay. Oh, good white crap. There we go. There we go, he choked it. Look at how far down that fish choked that jig. It's crazy, that's our first keeper white crappie, I think, today. There we go, jig is out. Look at that. Can't be mad at that right there, guys. Nice, solid white crappie. Add them to the box. We're, we're getting some numbers in here now. And we've got maybe seven keepers in there. Not bad at all.
Oh, crappy, crappy. There we go. Oh, got that. I think he's too small. Oh, nice. That's a pretty nice fish, but it's not going to keep. It looks to be a little bit too small, but we made a move over here to this different spot. Wasn't catching any more fish in the first hole we were in. Um, I decided to let that one sit for a little bit and see if we can get some more fish to come in, but that's not bad. He's going to be borderline, but we're going to throw him back. So let's see if we can get some bigger ones out of this little hole. Another little small white crappie. Beautiful fish. I mean, the colors on this fish are just perfect. He seems to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Smoked it. He's just a little too small. This hole seems to only have small ones in it. Still fun though. Just not as fun when you can't put these in the bucket. <laughs> nice little black crappie. Peace. You got him. We're back over here in the spot where we started this morning. Um, wasn't getting any bites, but we just had this guy hit it. It's another white crappie, undersized. Good fish though. That was just moments after catching that last white crappie. We got ourselves another keeper black crappie. That seems to be the trend today. All the white crappie are too small and all the black crappie are just the right size. So um, I kind of creaked up on that spot a little bit. I kind of pushed back. Hopefully there's a couple more there to catch. Check that one out guys. That's probably my biggest black crappie of the day. Really solid fish. Uh, there was actually a boat that was coming by um, as I was flipping him in the boat. So I was trying to be a little sneaky. I didn't want them to see me boat flip this guy in here. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice black crappie. Gonna throw him in the bucket. And we're gonna fish a little bit longer. The sun's starting to get out. It's really clear and bright today. And I haven't really had a whole lot of luck once the sun has gotten up. But uh, we've had a really good morning. I think we had maybe 10 keepers in there. Um, but hopefully we can get a couple of more. Nice. All right guys, well I have been out here for a while now without a bite. I fished up and down and all around at the swamp. There's still some duck hunting going on though, but the fish have definitely quit biting for me. I'm sure they're tucked in somewhere, but I just haven't been able to land on them. So I think I'm gonna call it a morning. I had a great one, um, caught, I don't know, probably 20 crappie, got about 10 or 12 keepers. Can't complain about that at all. We didn't connect with one of those big monster slabs that live out here, but that's okay. I'm just happy that we were able to catch something and hopefully we will be able to come back out here again and catch some even bigger ones again soon. Um, but I guess I'm gonna take these fish back to the house, get them cleaned up, and then we're gonna get them ready to cook and turn into something. Not sure exactly how we're gonna cook them yet, but they should be tasty. I'll see you there. We're back at the house here at the cleaning table, about to clean these crappie. We ended up keeping nine total crappie. We have eight black crappie, then we have the lone white crappie here. It was a sign of the day, all the white crappie were too short and the black crappie were just the right size. Um, hopefully we can get back out there again soon and catch some more, but for now this is plenty for us to have a nice meal. So I'm gonna clean these fish really quickly and uh, we're gonna get to cooking them. Okay guys, so we just got the fish all cleaned up and I am quite excited now because we're about to eat a few for lunch here, nice and hot and fresh. Here they are in the bag. This is some uh, Sloppy Mama fish fry and I've got, I don't know, eight or 10 fillets in there. Me and Jay are going to eat for lunch and it's gonna be tasty. Turn this camera around. Got our little cooking station here. Got some fresh grease in the old T-Fowl deep fryer. Our little plate right there to catch the fillets as they come out of here. Um, this is set to 375 and I bet I bet this joker's warmed up. Let me see real quick. We might be ready for action. Huh? I think we're good. I think we're good. It's sizzling enough. Let's go ahead and knock a few of these bad boys in there. Here's one of our fillets. Nice and coated. Should be splendid. 
Yeah, we're good. Might could have waited a little bit longer, but it'll eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this vat of hot oil with some more fish fillets, and uh, we're gonna get to cooking them up, and then we're going to do the taste test once it's all done. We'll see you in a few. Man, these fillets look so, so good, and they smell good right up here next to my face. I've got five of them here. Jay just told me she's not actually hungry right now, so I'm gonna be doing the taste test solo. And uh, let's go ahead and dive right on into this. I cannot wait, I am actually very starving. She ate breakfast while I was out there on the lake. So here is our crappie fillet with the Slappy Mama seasoning. Should be delicious. Hot, oh man. Mmm. It does not get better than fresh fish. We say it all the time, but being able to go out and catch your own fish and eat it like the same day, the fish is like super tender and flavorful and just so, so, so good. It's a good sign. Oh, it's a big one. That's a good one, Jay. Oh my gosh, let me get the net. Bring this fish in the net. Get in the net. Yes! Yes! Give me some. There we go, guys. There is our first keeper of the day. Whoo, man, that gets my heart going. Oh my goodness, look at the slabs on this thing. He looked so epic in this clear he water. He did. He was just flashing around. I was like, dang, that's a pig beautiful black crappie. That's the kind of fish that we're out here in the tree swamp for. I guess let's get him unhooked and get him in the bucket and let's see if we can catch some more. Woo! I'm so excited right now. Here we go. Oh, another big one. Not as big, but... That's another keeper. Okay, that was my next cast and look at this. Look at his tail. It's kind of all messed up. Tail's all jacked up, but he's a slab nonetheless. Heck yeah. He might have been turtle bait at one point. Yeah, poor now, guy. Now he's J-bait. J-bait. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Keep doing your thing up there. Oh my gosh. Slab City over there. Jay, you are on fire up there in the front of the boat. Heck yeah, that is the third keeper. We've only been out here for like five minutes. I know, and you're smoking them off that same little stump right there. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful black crappie. I hope that I just keep doing this. I hope you do too. It would make me happy. This is too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Got three mean ones in there. <laughs> Auburn in there. Uh oh. Got him. I'm on the board. I'm on the board. Stay on there. Stay on there. I think he's gonna be a little short though. Nice little white crappie to get things started for me, but I think he's gonna be a little short. I'm gonna go ahead and send him back. Jay's taking care of the slabs up there in the front. So let's send him back in there. And let's see if we can get one a little bigger than that. I wanna see a monster come in this boat today, Jay. Me too. I got two pounder, I got a scale. If we catch something monster, so we'll have to weigh it. We'll get him, get him, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. You need a net? I knew that one was a big one as soon as he bit it. He popped that thing so hard. Heck yeah, we are in Slab City right now. That's your fourth keeper, isn't it? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Love the quality we're having out here today. Fourth sometimes keeper in a row. Yeah, sometimes we're only catching small ones and then we have to weed through them, but mm -hmm. so far it's been nothing but quality. Keep it up. Loving it. I'm gonna take my jacket off. It's warming up out here, isn't I'm it? It's getting hot. <laughs> I'm on fire. Yep. Nope. I got you there. I got him. I got him. That's a good one. That's a good one. He's pulling hard. I got him. In the boat. There's my first good keeper. I missed a good one right then. And you missed one too. Your bait came flying. So there's definitely a school of fish there. Fired up. And we got to get back out there before they swim off. Nice keeper for me. I think it's our fifth one. Nice. Let's get some more. Good job. Thank you. Oh, big one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, baby. Yes. Yeah, baby. 
Oh my gosh, I needed this day so bad. And we're like the only people out here. That's, That's really awesome. rare too. <laughs> what a Ooh, slab. Another good one. Oh I would say goodness. I would say let's sit here and talk about it for a little bit, but they're out there biting. We gotta keep casting yeah. to them. That's definitely key out here. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Oh, that's a giant, Jay. Get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a freaking giant. That's a freaking giant, Jay. Oh my god. That's a freaking giant. Get the net. I got the net. Get the net. Oh my god. Get the net. Oh my god, that's a big one. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I told you they were gonna get a big one. <gasps> okay, Mr. Slab King. Mr. Slab King is here. Dude. That. That right there, guys, is what we came for. That Heck is a yeah. stud. He's gonna be like pound and a half, pound and three quarters. Not a two pounder. You know a two pounder when you see it, they look like freaks, but yeah. that is a good one. Whew. Biggest of the day so far, just thick, fat. He fought good. I'm glad we have the net on board today. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> we might catch some really good ones the way they're biting like this. Whew. Can't spin the bucket. Oh. Oh, I think Bob was under. Another big one. Shoot. Another big one. Not as big as the last one, but it's another keeper. Whew. Now I'm on fire, Jay. <laughs> yes. Whew. I don't know how that one hooked. It's like hooked on like the wire keeper. I'm not even kidding, guys. Like the wire keeper on the jig head right there. That's how that fish was hooked. Not even kidding. That's a good one. Another really nice keeper. It's probably my second biggest, honestly. But uh, that last one makes this one look kind of small. <laughs> Definitely not moving for a little bit, but another one. Oh Throw out there. It's another big one. Another big one. Jason tried to double up. They're kind of in a zone where I hadn't casted yet, and that's that's three good ones in a row. I don't know how many keepers that is for me. I think it's like three or four, but I'm just jacked. We are doing some work really quick out here. It's not what we were expecting. We were hoping to catch them, but we were not expecting to catch them this good, this quick. I've got to get a new bait. Jay and I are both throwing Bobby Garlands on a 30-second ounce jig head, and this is actually, it looks like my last one in this color. No, I got another one right here. These other two are broken. This color I'm throwing is the hologram ghost color. She's throwing the albino. It's like purple and white laminated. And it seems like they don't really care what color it is as long as it looks kind of like a bait fish. Here's that jig head, just a little 32nd ounce jig head. And then we're just bringing it straight onto the hook. I like these jig heads because they have big old eyes on them. I think that's really important, especially in clear water. Oh, Jay just got smoked. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, we got that stump. He's coming in. He's coming in. Boat flap. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I forgot about that stump, so I'm glad that fish got stuck on it before I did. It's another nice keeper. Beautiful black crappie. It's like so tempting to like just sneak up to that next little hole right there. Oh, not that tempting. Another big one. Another big one, JJ. Another big one. Another big one. Get in here. Yes. I was just saying, it's kind of tempting. So we're dealing with a lot of leaves on the water and um, we're getting our jigs hung up more than we're actually fishing clean, but it's wide open up there and we, would, we wouldn't do it with leaves, but I'm not sure if there's any fish up there. <laughs> I said it was tempting to like go up there and see, but with these fish biting like this, there's no way we're, even, we're leaving this spot. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's actually probably my smallest one of the day. Yeah, he's still 10 and a half inches though. <laughs> oh, he smoked it. He's gonna be close. He looks good down there. Looks like another good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whew, that's my first keeper white crappie right there. I would really love if we catch like a like a really big white crappie out here. We haven't caught one like that out here this year. Oh man. I'm not sure what it is, but it seems like all the black crappie like to come to this area. And there's other parts out here where the white crappie get. But every now and then we'll randomly catch a monster white crappie. Nope. That's a giant. Giant. Oh my gosh, that is a giant. That's a giant, JJ. Oh 
Oh, baby. Come on, turn. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's not as gigantic as I thought he was, but still. He's a good one. He's a really good one. Let me get him unhooked for you. So the bites kind of slowed down a little bit, but we're still able to get a few big ones in the boat. My goodness. Yeah, it's honestly been a while since I've had a bite. I think it's been about 10, 10 15 yeah. minutes, which in the you... grand scheme of things isn't that long. No, it's really not that long. But we were catching him every single cast. <laughs> and we were thinking about moving. But yeah. I'm glad we didn't, because that's a nice one. And hopefully there's some more that are fixing to move in. <laughs> he was back where you caught the first ones. Uh, I don't think so. And stumps literally like right in the center of this whole little circle. And it's it's not like a, it's not like, a, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. I saw the flash of that one. They're back. They came back for us. <laughs> it said we just needed a break for a second. Oh, there we go. There's my first keeper, white crappie. Look at that beaut. Oh, we almost doubled. We almost doubled. What are you doing? <laughs> you got a barb on that hook? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, they're biting over there. There he is. There he is. That was awesome. My bobber's gone. We got doubles. Doubles. Who's this bigger? We've got doubles in here. I'm gonna swing mine. Mine's big. Mine's big. Yes. As many fish as we've been catching, it's crazy that this is our first double up. I know, right? Got some nice ones. There's mine. There's Jay's. And they're in there. Give me some. Cool. I am in the splash zone up here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, no. She stole my fish. Nope, you got him. <laughs> you dirty dog. <laughs> he was just a little guy. At least somebody caught him though. Oh, I got him. I got him. That's him. That's the one I actually missed right there. Yeah, that's definitely the one I missed. Big old white crappie, you know? <laughs> Double up on white crappie. We were catching only black crappie pretty much. The only difference between mine and yours is about, it's about two inches. No, the double though. I guess it's kind of a double. It's kind yeah. of a delayed double. Yeah, a very delayed double. Mine goes in here. Mine goes back in the water. Mm, how big is that one? How big is that one? Not too terribly big, but he's a good one. Ooh. I'm telling you, it's a whole school of white crappie all of a sudden. That's so crazy. crazy. It's crazy, right? We were catching nothing but black crappie and now we're only catching white crappie. And if you don't know the difference between a black crappie and a white crappie, if you look at this guy, you can see that his patterns are kind of more vertical bars. That's how you know this is a white crappie. Black crappie, they're more just kind of randomly speckled. And usually the white crappie seem to be more like elongate and the uh, black crappie seem to be more round. Um, but yeah, there's a nice white crappie. Actually, I'll grab a black crappie here so you can see the difference. Here you go. So here's that white crappie here in my left hand, and here's the black crappie in my right hand. You can see the difference really, really clearly on these two. They're about the same length. Um, and you can see the spots on this guy. You can see the bars on this one. You can see how this one's more round. This one here's more long. Two beautiful fish. And I personally don't care what color crappie I'm catching. Oh gosh, oh gosh. That was so I got the cool. net, I got the net. That was so We don't need the net. Cool. <laughs> we don't need the net. I don't need the net. <laughs> All right, there is another nice one. That was literally so cool. I was watching my jig in the water and I watched this fish like dart at it like a shark and just eat it. That was, that was so cool. And we're back on the black crappie train. <laughs> yep. The last like five or six fish have been white crappie and that's a nice one. It's crazy when you can see him do that. I know. As you see that big old slap slide just come barreling at it. <laughs> it's insane. It's oh, so man. violent. It's crazy. Look at, this, Look at bucket. this bucket. That's nasty. It's getting nasty Ooh. in there. So in case you're wondering, the limit's 30 a person, so we don't even have a one-man limit yet, but um, yeah, that's a good sight to see. We're working on it. We're working on it. Got him. Got him. Can't tell the size of this one. He's running right at me. Feels pretty decent. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Get in here. Look how yellow this one is. Ooh. That's awesome. He's got a lot of yellow on him. Hooked right in the roof of the mouth, right where you want to see it. 
Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm ready for another big daddy. Yep. Nice. Heck yeah. Swapped back to that purple. Yes, I did. Look at it. Gave him a little something, something different. <laughs> I don't know if it really mattered or not, but broke off your jig, went back to the purple. And that's another good one. Another one for the bucket. My goodness, Cole. I think it's the best we've done as far as like yeah. quality. We've caught more than this this year, but yeah. we haven't caught the quality like that. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, I had a fish on the whole time. I'm serious. I thought something was going on. I thought I had a leaf. He is being so subtle. I think he's a good one. He is. Oh, doubles. Typical. Typical. Always ruining the double ups. <laughs> There's another keeper. And we're going to have a lot of fish to clean when we get home. That's okay. Because you got to get them while you can get them. First cast, first cast, first cast. Stay on there. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's a slap. Oh, there we go. First cast out here of the evening. We got ourselves our first good slab, black crappie. Jay's, oh, Jay had a bite. We're not gonna be keeping any fish today, but that's a really nice one. Hopefully we can catch some more of that. We will see you later, big guy. Oh, oh that's a good one. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> My first fish is a monster. <laughs> yes. Okay, maybe not a monster monster, but a dang good one. Heck yeah. That is so cool. Oh, so much fun. All right, first one for me. Hopefully first of many. Oh, he smashed it. Smashed that jig. I popped it hard too. Pretty good one. <laughs> Looks like the quality's here today, JJ. Awesome. That one, nice white crappie. Oh, oh. get it, get it. Yes. Woo! Oh, oh, way to go, Jay. <laughs> this is our third and fourth fish. Oh my goodness. I think this is gonna be a really good afternoon. We are catching some nice ones so far. Ah! <laughs> well, I'm off the big, I'm off the big fish train. Not bad though. Nice little white crappie. I'm just here to have fun and catch fish today. We've got plenty of fish stocked up in our freezer. Oh, so just here to have some fun now. Hopefully catch a monster. Still have not caught a two pounder out of this spot this year, which is crazy. I think the biggest one we've weighed so far is like one pound, 12 ounces. So we got to beat that at least. <laughs> we took the same time. I don't even know if mine's a crappie. I got a yellow bass. Hey, I got a crappie. <laughs> <laughs> little multi-species happening out here in the swamp today, guys. A little yellow bass. Jay's got herself a nice little white crappie. <laughs> Let's go, get some more. Oh, oh, how big is that? Oh my gosh, stay on there. Stay on there, big boy. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, He's in the boat. <laughs> That's solid. Tis a solid one right there, guys. So far, so good out here. This is my third or fourth crappie, and that's definitely the biggest one so far. He's gonna be close to a pound, but look at the colors on that guy. So pretty. Just a stunning black crappie. We've been out here all of 10 minutes, and we are just putting the herd on him. Man, you never know what to expect. We come out here and not catch anything. We come out here and smoke them like this. It's all really just a timing deal. These fish are just constantly moving in and out of these trees. And hey, they can be really hard to find at times, but when we're on them like this, we gotta take advantage of it. So we're gonna get this guy back in the water and we're gonna see if we can catch some more before it gets dark. See ya. Jump. <laughs> oh, he, 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 oh, he was thinking about it. <laughs> he was thinking about jumping. Good job. Oh. Oh, yeah, doubles again. Doubles again. 
Yours is bigger, I think. Oh, a little bit bigger. Not quite a keeper size, but a pretty good one. It's like the third double of the day. I know, and we've only caught like 10 fish. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Seems like there's little ones back here behind me. Get back on the big ones. Oh, he came off, and I'm in the tree. No. Oh gosh. Oh, Woo! He did smoke it. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get me a piece of that action right there. Woo. That spot looks too good. Yeah, that That's spot it. looks really good. Got him. Got him. I don't know if you were just holding on to that fish just so we could double up again. <laughs> Look at him, he's gonna cut. Oh man, poor little guy. They look like twins, except for mine's a black crappie and yours is a white crappie. Not a monster. And you know, like our fourth double up of the day. Mine's a black crappie, hers is a white crappie. Mine's slightly bigger, I think. Yeah, I think it is. But still, nice fish. I'm wearing them out. Big one? Oh yeah. Big one? Feels like a big one. It's definitely a, definitely a slab. Oh, he's pulling the boat. Yes. Boat flip that yeah. guy. Ooh. That's a dandy. That's probably my biggest of the day, I think. I think so. That's a really nice white crappie. Whoo! Check it out, man. Gosh, this this fish is so pretty. Look how cool he looks with a jig in his mouth. That's awesome. Cool, beautiful fish. Mmm and a good old time we're having out here. Here we go, there's my smallest one of the day right after catching my biggest one of the day. Woo! From the same spot. <laughs> Look for a bigger one. Oh! Way back up there in that tunnel. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Bigger one Jay's got in her hand. I'm not complaining about the size of the fish though. Yeah, I'm just here to have fun. Have fun. Wreck some slabs. I respect that. Oh, I got him. That's a big one. Oh, is it? Yeah, I didn't even see the bobber. Oh my gosh. JJ, grab that net, please. Grab that net. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Net him. Where is he? Where He's right is there. He? Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> Holy cow. I didn't even see the bite. Is that you pounder? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, it might be. Oh, dude. That's a big end. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> cool. Hand me that big what guy. What the heck? Oh my gosh. He's not two pounds. Oh. Look at that slab, guys. Wow. Oh, my hook just fell out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks for the net job, Jed. I didn't know how big he was. He was just fighting around in those leaves and pulling so hard. He came up like a bass. And honestly, I didn't even see the bite. I just cast it out there, looked away, and I was like, where'd my bobber go? I better set the hook. And it's a monster. That is a monster. He's not, Man. He's, I don't think he's two pounds, but and I don't know if he's gonna be the biggest that we've caught out here this year. Our biggest so far is one pound and 12 ounces. So we'll get the official scale out here, which I still to this date say this scale is kind of sketchy. Need to get a new scale pretty bad. Okay, let's see what we got on this one. Yeah, it only says one pound, six ounces. What? So six ounces shy of the biggest one we've caught out here this fall. I think that's about right. Dang. It's a good one though. That's a really good one. Way bigger than the ones we've been catching. Beautiful, beautiful black crappie. And uh, like we've said many times this fall, there's some big ones that get up in here and we've caught some over two pounds. So that's still the goal and there's still a chance we can catch one. It's starting to get dark. We have about 30 minutes of daylight to fish. So we're gonna get this guy back in the water and uh, we're gonna keep casting and see if we can get another big one. You ready to go, big guy? We'll see you later. If no one catches you and puts you in their bucket this year, maybe next year we can catch you and you could be two and a half pounds or so. Whew, that was exciting. Hopefully there's some more up here. Oh, God. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Jay said a big one. How big oh is gosh, that? That's a big one. Oh, get him, JJ. Well, I mean, he, he's fighting like a big one. Oh, he is a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Jay. <laughs> I can't even 
even keep up with it. Holy smokes. Grab him. Whoa! Yes. Back to back what? big ones. Are you ones. kidding me? Not kidding. Back to back big ones. Maybe we found the big ones. Looks like we have. Oh my God. Check this guy out. Cole literally just let that fish go, and I threw up in that spot, and we got another big one in the boat. I know, about the <laughs> same size. I mean, that is another just gorgeous black crappie. So pretty. I wish we could sit here and talk about this thing forever, but we gotta get back out there. We gotta get back out there. If you look over here, the sun is getting dangerously low. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful fish. All right, we're gonna send this one back and hopefully we're about to catch a bigger one. Give me some, Jay. That was fun. Let's get some more. <laughs> Fish on. Fish on, Jay's hung up. And I'm back here with what could be the final fish of the day. Woo! Get in the boat. That's a pretty nice black crappie. That could be the last fish of the day. Get him unhooked. We're gonna get Jay out of this tree. She's stuck up here ahead of us. There's another jig up in the tree too. Man, this, this has been a, a nasty tree for some folks, it looks like. <laughs> it's a nice crappie though. I think I can snip and get that. Let me get that out. Let's get this fish back in the water. We might catch another one, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Gotcha, sucker. Hey, he bit that thing as soon as it hit the water. It's a tiny one. That is not what we want <laughs> after catching that big one. Man. Okay, I'm going to make like two more casts up in there. If we don't catch a big one, then we're going to have to go as it's getting quite dark now. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the last one of the day. Stay on there. Yes. Woohoo. Not a bad one. Didn't want to end on that super tiny one. All right, guys. Well, this is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. This is a really nice fish. Looks a lot like a lot of the ones we've caught this afternoon. I mean, we really, we really caught him this afternoon, yeah, didn't we, Jay? Yeah, it was fun. We probably caught 30, maybe even 40, and we got a couple of really nice ones mixed in. Go ahead and send this one back. We hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. If so, do us a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Whoop.